Hello everyone, so we've talked about what inequalities were, now let's talk about solving inequalities. And really, there's not that much more to know about solving inequalities than what you've already learned from solving equations. For example, here we've got two different problems. x minus 5 equals 6, and x minus 5 is less than 6. So, if we wanted to solve the equation on the left, we would add 5 to both sides, giving us an x equals 11. Now, if we wanted to solve this inequality on the right, we'd do the same thing. We'd add 5 here, and we'd add 5 here, but instead of x equals 11, we'll get x is less than 11. Here we've got x over 2 is equal to 9, and x over 2 is greater than or equal to 9. So to solve for this, we'd do the opposite of division. We'd multiply by 2 to both sides. That would leave us with x equals 18. On this right side, same thing. Let's multiply 2 to both sides. That's going to give us x is greater than or equal to 18. So you can see there's not too much of a difference in these problems. Let's try this one here. Negative 2x is less than 6. So we would go ahead and divide both sides by negative 2. Divide by negative 2. That would give us x is less than 6 divided by negative 2 is negative 2. Three. All right, I've drawn a number line here on the bottom because I want to show you something with this problem. So here we've got x is less than negative 3. That would be all these numbers to the left of negative 3 that would make this true. But let's go ahead and try a number that's left of negative 3 here. Let's say we see our graph has a negative 5 that's less than negative 3, so let's go ahead and plug that back in for this x. That would give us a negative 2 times negative 5, and I'm just plugging again, I'm plugging a negative 5 in for this x here, and that should be less than 6. Now negative 2 times negative 5 is 10, that gives me 10 is less than 6. Now you should be scratching your head here, because is 10 actually less than 6? No, 10 is greater than 6. Now because uh, w the nature of inequalities, when you're, you multiply or divide by a negative, you have to flip your sign. That is super important. I'm going to say it one more time. You write it down, put it on your fridge so you don't forget. Whenever you multiply or divide by a negative, flip your sign. Let's take a look at the last problem we just did. Negative 2x is less than 6. We divide by negative 2. We divide by negative 2. That gives us x is, since we divided by a negative, we must flip our sign. So instead of less than, we have greater than negative 3. And these are actually going to be true values. We're just going to do some quick examples just to make sure you got the hang of it. So here we got 2x plus 7 is greater than 21. First, let's subtract our 7. That's going to give us 2x is greater than 14. Let's go ahead and divide by 2. Divide by 2. That's going to give us x is greater than 7. Here we've got negative 5x plus 4 is greater than or equal to 2. Let's go ahead and start by subtracting 4 from both sides. That gives us negative 5x is greater than or equal to negative 2. Next, we need to divide by negative 5 on both sides. That gives us x is, oh, we divided by a negative. What does that mean? That's right, flip our sign. So instead of greater than or equal to, we'll have less than or equal to. And then we've got negative 2 over negative 5. We're just going to leave that as 2 fifths. Here we've got 1 is less than or equal to 2, parentheses, x plus 1, minus x. First, let's take care of our parentheses here by distributing. That's going to leave us with 1 is less than or equal to 2x plus 2. Then we've still got a minus x here. Next, I see we've got a 2x here and an x, so let's combine our like terms. That's going to leave us with 1 is less than or equal to 2x minus x is just x plus 2. 
From there, we can go ahead and subtract 2 from both sides. That's going to give us negative 1 is less than or equal to x. Now, this is kind of an interesting way to write this. This basically is the same as x is greater than or equal to negative 1. See the big opening towards the x? So, uh, while you could circle this and have that as your answer, often people like to write the variable first. So, I'm going to go ahead and switch this to x is greater than or equal to negative 1. This one says 3x plus 5 is greater than 7x minus 1. So first I see I have variables on both sides. So let's get our variable to one side. I'm going to go ahead and subtract 7x from each side. That's going to give me 3x minus 7x. That's going to be 4x negative because I've got this 3 minus 7 plus 5 is greater than negative 1. Next, let's get our x by itself. So we're going to subtract 5 from each side. That gives us negative 4x is greater than negative 6. And then let's go ahead and divide by negative 4 both sides. Remember, we just divided by a negative. What's that mean? Our sign's going to flip. So instead of greater than, we're going to have less than. And we're going to have x is less than negative 6 over negative 4. Now we can simplify this, right? Our negatives, since we have two negatives, that's going to become positive. And 6 over 4, we know that 2 can go into each of those. So that's going to give us x is less than 3 halves.